pound for pound sports entertainment hit the like button right now if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button for your boy it's your host f merit we're gonna get to it like we always do every single time baby it's going down listen news broke today earl spence sebastian fundor they, they have an agreed date of october i'm looking forward to a wbc belt for 154 pounds is on the line i can't wait it's supposed to be in dallas probably gonna be over in a cowboy stadium you know it depends on the schedule of the dallas cowboys that's why they're saying they want to put it sometime in october i'm looking forward to that fight but earl spence says hey you know in a in a in a tweet that's been deleted he says hey this might be the last time you see me now is he putting pressure on himself because maybe he knows like if i lose this one this will be my last shot at the title and i'm probably gonna retire because maybe i just don't have it anymore or i don't want to do this anymore or will the fans just you know want to not see errol spence take any more punishment his last fight was against terrence crawford he ended up getting i believe dropped twice and stopped ultimately in the end and he took a lot of punishment ladies and gentlemen so we took some time off and now he's going getting back in there with the the, the tornado you know <laughs> the tornado in uh you know sebastian fundora the 154 champ um that is a difficult matchup for anybody because this man is like six seven crazy reach he's constantly coming down so as far as actually breaking down the fight i envision earl spence trying to use a jab but ultimately putting his head down on Sebastian Fundor's chest and working the body to break him down. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anyone's really honestly tried to really target Sebastian Fundor's body. Um, Sebastian Fundor is the type of fighter where he needs his space in order to work. He's so long and, and he needs to, you know, use his reach, pause. He needs his, uh, you know, use the reach to, to hit the jab. So if you get in close, try to work the mid game, he's going to try to throw punches downward on the sides of your head. And he's going to probably back up a little bit and try to get the ankle in order to, you know, reset and use that jab. So if Earl can get in and work the body, I think it slows Sebastian Fundor down. It slowly breaks him down. And I think he ultimately can get Sebastian Fundor up out of there not to mention it's gonna be 154 pounds earl spence previously fought at 147 pounds so he's moving up in weight and i would imagine he's going to feel so much better um also one of the big factors a lot of people not talking about earl spence is no longer with coach uh derrick james so we don't know who his new coach is going to be or we don't know if he, they're going to change some things up we don't know if they're going to try to keep it the same but you know all these are, are factors and they just got to put the right game plan together and then make it happen ladies and gentlemen but like i said october earl spence sebastian fun door the fight is agreed upon dallas is going down i'm looking forward to it if errol spence loses this fight do you guys think errol spence should retire let me know in the comments hit that like button hit the subscribe button it's your host f mary pound for pound sports entertainment i'm out